if you still new at trading, if you still struggling as, as a trader, uh, the one thing you need to put on first is uh, the, the max daily loss, of course, and the daily um, and, uh, and, and, and hot stops every single time you trade. Okay. And now let's get on to that point. Uh, master one setup. Okay. So what that setup might be, I would say that the most like really like, you know, like the most consistent setup that I've seen through the years, uh, that you can, you know, basically trade day in and day out. Uh, that would be low hanging fruit, right? This is like our uh, favorite strategy. Uh, to me, that's a ve like you know, it's 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 really my favorite because why? Because I can simply trade that day in and day out. With the death line, yes, it it is very good strategy, but you know, sometimes uh, you won't be able to find it, right? Uh, it, it's not like you know your bread and butter day day in and day out, and you know, if you couldn't see that, you know, every single day, then you start to kind of lose your patience a little bit. And then you try to find something else to trade, right? That's what happens to me. Uh, or like, you know, if you want, like, if you like the first red day, yes, it is very profitable setup, but the, the, the good first red day only comes like, you know, once, twice, maybe a month or like, you know, in a few months, right? So what are you going to do? uh, in the meantime. So that's, this is like, for me, was the hardest part when I first started and I couldn't pinpoint down to the strategy that I like the most. Right. Uh, so, you know, instead of waiting for a deadline, you know, I've been waiting for a few days. So, so but what I'm going to do in the meantime, you know, I'm just sitting there and no, not trading, you know, that's, that's hard sometimes. I know, you know, that in order to be a good trader, you have to be patient, right? You have to be, you know, sitting your on hands most of the time, waiting for the right setup to come to you. But, you know, it's easier said than done. Yeah, right. We want to trade and yes, we have to be patient, but it's not like, you know, few days without trading. Uh, yes, some, some could do it like bear, but not me, you know, I'm not the person that could wait for like days and not trade. Uh, trading is my job. Trading is something that I want to be able to, you know, provide for, for my family. And it's like, you know, if I'm not trading on that day, it's, it, it really feels like I'm not working at all. Right. So I kind of found the setup that I like the most and also I can easily find that setup or that trade day in and day out. And that would be, of course, my favorite one is a low hanging fruit. You guys have seen my watch list. You guys have seen I post the watch list almost every single day. Yes, sometimes the line don't hit, right? Sometimes lines don't hit, but it's still there. Okay. It like the potential of me trading on that day is still big than compared to, uh, something like, you know, death line first red day. Uh, and I think this is like the main reason why people switching from setup to setup or like strategy to strategy because of that, right? They couldn't find the death line. They couldn't find the first red day. And then they switch on to first resistance short or like they, they, uh, switch to like first bounce. And <clears throat> that's why they got a the different results because you are not like good enough yet or like, you know, uh, to be able to, uh, manage like multiple strategies at once. Okay. It's like this. If you haven't found a consistency in one setup, right? What makes you think you can make money on a different setup? It's not, you know, proven yet. Right. To me, it's just, uh, like you haven't got to the point where your account is growing. You know, that's, that's a one thing. The second thing is that, you know, your confidence is not there yet because, you know, you don't have that proven track to kind of, you know, prove to yourself that I'm good at this. Right. Uh, and for me, it, when I found the setup and I kind of master it to the point that my account was growing 
and I was comfortable with losing more and more and more, right? Our goal is to grow that account. Yes, at first you have a small account and you need to find a consistency to boost your confidence up, okay? Like to prove to yourself that, hey, this is not a coincidence, okay? This is not by luck. This is like, you know, this is my skill, right? I can do this day in and day out. Okay, guys, so, uh, yeah, uh, you know, like I've made tons of, uh, you know, videos on, on the watch list uh, or like you know on the low hanging fruit already so i'm not gonna dig in too much into the the, the strategy itself uh but this is like this video is more like a psychological kind of one uh so i i want to point you guys into the right directions that's all okay so if you are new and struggling just like you know, before guys, I don't even have the watch list to follow. Okay, I have to come up with the lines myself. I have to uh, basically check others' chart, like you know, Bao's chart, Alex chart, to come up with with the good lines, or or like you know, to come up with what I think is good. And so it was really hard for me. And now you guys have the guidance here. I mean, I I wouldn't say this is like the best. But at least, you know, it's, you know, uh, like from, from stats itself, I think it was like over 90%, even over 80% is good, right? And so I think, you know, there's something you need to kind of uh, pay attention to. Uh, and yeah, sometimes I don't have all of them on my watch list uh, as, you know, for some reason I, I didn't like them or like I didn't like that ticker. But the point is, try to stick to uh, the watch list from us, Alex and me, and try to master that one setup, okay? Low hanging fruit, this is the one. Avoid everything else, guys, okay? If you haven't found consistency yet, if you are still struggling, go back and, and track your stats and see what happened. You know, usually <clears throat> it's from you switching from setup to setup. It's like you you are all over the goddamn place, okay? It's like, uh, you know, like you try to long some here. Uh, you try to, you know, short some of this. You want to long some of this. It's like, you know, we like our brain can process one thing at a time. Okay, guys, so that's why for me, I'm not really good at multitasking. So a lot of times I, you know, if I have four or five positions, I can't even, you know, handle like, them all like, you know, properly. So I would rather stick to one or two positions. So, you know, that, that way, you know, it's just like been helping me much better. Uh, and, <clears throat> and this is pretty much happens, uh, happen, uh, you know, in the first when when I started, uh, I tried the first bounds, I tried first resistance, and I tried you know death line. You know I, I I was all over the place, and at the end of the month, I was still red on the month. Okay, and I said to myself, what's the point, right? I need something to prove to myself that I find consistency, that I I can be good with it. It doesn't matter. Okay, try to make ten bucks, twenty bucks, day in and day out for a month. And then you go from there, right? Once you can make, you know, 10 bucks consistently, yes, of course you can make 20. Of course you can make 50, 100, 200, you know, a grand. 